How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Irrelevant Podcast. Your boys are here, both rocking the black tees today. I got a lot of hair on mine. Probably can't tell. But <laughs> I did the same thing. I was Marley like, wait. Marley has got, <laughs> holy crap, she's all over me. Imagine having a pet, dude. If only. It's nice. I want a pet. I didn't want Jessica the cat, but now that she has, I am a fan. I want a koala. A, co- a I'm koala. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Dude, koalas are so cute, though. They are. They are cute. They're Can awesome. you own a koala legally? I don't think so. I doubt it. I There's no way. So. There's no way. There's like some crazy animals you can own. Like you can own those like, can't you own like a wild cat? Like a like a big sort of, cat? Yeah, like a. Like a lion or a tiger. Not or like a lion or tiger. Puma, like a, or a can't you own like a bingle or something? Like some sort Maybe. of weird. I don't know. I mean, you, you, like watch, the, you watch Tiger King? No, mm. I wish. I mean, he had a bunch of them, but then, you know, there's some laws about it for sure. I'm sure yeah. there are. I don't know. I, I've always wanted to. Uh, oh, and also like when you hear people like raising kangaroos. No. I feel like that'd be difficult <laughs> to do to raise a little baby. Kangaroo. Baby Joey. Baby Joey. They're cute. Joey Conway. Until they're huge and then they just drop kick you. Yeah, that's true. But I, I, I remember like being around a baby kangaroo before and it's so cute because you feed him with like a little milk, yeah. milk thing. So cute. And baby kangaroos are so cute. Sorry, I don't know why it's the start of the podcast, but there it is. I am sunburned, dude. Oh my god, you are. I, didn't I, I, t- I took you off are. my I took off my jacket as soon as the podcast started. I'm like, dude, just give him give him a little I didn't I didn't want Matt lift. to know. But um, like I got it's a little... so bad, dude. Like honestly, like I wish I could show like Oh yeah. Yeah, it's on. bad. I'll show, make sure like... I turn up the saturation on this episode so they can see how bright and red you Wait, are. Look at this side. Oh, you're peeling already. Yeah. It's bad, dude. What did you did you go outside for the first time all year? Yeah. In a year and a half? <laughs> <laughs> I went canoeing. Oh no. I went canoeing. How long was the canoeing? Three to four hours. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, being on water is like the, the worst for sun. Dude, like it just know, reflects off the water and double double gets you. You know what's crazy too? So if you look at my arm, right? I don't you can see with this one a little bit, baby. All right, mm-hmm. if you look at this, look at the underside of my arm. <laughs> My underside is like completely like a- white, and then the rest is just pink. It's nice, because I was just going, I'm just rowing all day. Yeah, I was just doing that. But it works your arms though, which is good. Yeah, canoeing's um, good. So you went canoeing where? Yeah, so that was the thing. I went to um, uh, Nashville actually, Ooh. and uh, I went there uh, to go to a wedding okay. with M. I was her date, so it was I was tagging along, uh, but it was. Uh, uh, basically her her step family uh like uh one of the the daughters got married and it was it was really awesome and one of the events uh after the the wedding like the next day or so was a day canoeing down this like lazy river thing okay and i was trying to explain this to chop because i was talking to chop today about it and we did a lazy river thing in austin before mm-hmm. and if you guys don't know what i'm talking about by like a lazy river i feel like most people know what a lazy river is though yeah but it's like a natural lazy river, though. Like right. it's not it's like a real river. It's not something in not like a water made. park. It's yeah. it's a natural lazy river, and you get dropped off at a location, you get picked up at the end, you bring all your stuff back, that kind of stuff. And we've done one in Austin before, with all the boys, where we were literally talking. Oh, wait, we were talking about the last, last podcast. Week. Yeah, yeah, like the tubes, right? Yeah, uh, and getting like maybe dying uh, because we were <laughs> dumb. Um, so watch that episode. But uh, essentially, this was like that, but with canoes instead. Okay. And we were each like in pairs because of the canoe. And it was a long journey. And there was like some slight rapid sections that weren't like too bad, but it was nothing crazy. It was still really relaxing all the way through. And I just got burnt to a crisp. I took my shirt off for the first time in months. <laughs> I swear I never take my shirt off, guys. Literally, I go to bed with, no, I'm just kidding. But dude, it felt like it was the first time my body has seen sun in like two years. And I think I, I you're think I'm pretty bad right now. Yeah. Do you know what is in my veins right now? What? Aloe vera. <laughs> You've been lubing up. <laughs> aloe vera is all over me, dude. dude I love I aloe that. though. I feel Aloe's bad. Great. How bad is it though? Is it like to the point where you like hurts to move? I it, it just I'm fine moving. It just hurts. Nah, it's not like that bad. it hurts when something touches. Nah, it's not that bad. Like when Emmy gives me a hug, I'm like, huh. yeah, huh. that's that's yeah. But it's not like, it's not horrible. It's just, I can feel my shirt scraping a little bit on it. And I'm like, oh, that's nah. the worst, dude. The worst I ever got it was in, in Texas, South Padre Island. Oh God. It was like 106. And I don't know what we, what, how stupid we were, but it's the worst burn I'll ever get. 
Were you I like remember, in pain for days? Oh yeah, like three days straight. That I'm yeah. saying that's why I said it hurts when you move. I moving my arms. You know when you get like a like rug burn or like someone twist your yeah. arm. Just moving any part of my body felt like that. So that's you, how bad it did was. Did you just lay down and you just went to sleep for like Dude, two days? All how? day, like basically nothing on but underwear. Yeah. Just sitting by an AC unit, like ice packs and aloe the whole day. It was terrible. Like genuinely terrible. How did you not get like skin cancer I, or something? Uh, I hope I don't get skin cancer, bro. That was the, it was bad. It was like really bad. I mean, that was how long ago? Mike, I mean, Mike got it bad skin too. Cancer, we both right? got it. Well, I mean, over time, yeah. If you get sunburned, you get like oh. it's way more likely you can get it later. on. I thought it was like a thing that happens after you get sunburned or something. I don't, I don't know. How well, that works. potentially, but usually it's a little bit later in your life. Like it takes some time to oh. go go rogue. Yeah, getting sunburned's not good. <laughs> I'm, Definitely I'm knocking not good. on wood, right? Yeah, knocking on glass. The, what? Wait, it's oh! fake wood. It's fake wood. <laughs> he's cursed, dude. He's cursed. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I know what it's like to get bad sunburn, so that's that's shitty. But in bigger news from yeah. your weekend, yeah, you became a dad. Jesus Christ. I didn't know what you were talking about. No, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Listen. First of all. I'll throw it up on the screen here. This is what JC posted. <laughs> Any sane human being can say that no. this sounded like potentially you and M were pregnant because you said mom and dad as the caption. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. What? And then I thought about it more. I was like, there's no way he means mom and dad. That like I, I kind of see what he's going for, but I and I was like, so I said, yo, are you pregnant? And then you're like, quickly, no, no, no. And then it was Milo, Chopper, and everyone else said the same thing. And I was like, okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one's like, what's going on no, over I mean, here? I think you guys, when, when you replied, you made more people think that it was actually okay. real. And same with Milo. I and mean, Milo just did that on purpose. Probably. And I was just like, dude, there's no way. Like, I, so I, I posted that picture because I was like, man, we just look older. Like, we just look like older, more sophisticated. And everybody everybody's always said I dress like a dad all the time anyway. So I was like, and people like say, like, people have said like M's like the mom to chat and all that kind of stuff okay. on my stream. So I was just like, mom and dad mom and chat, dad. here we are. And bro, it got, maybe, maybe it was a good thing in retrospect because it got a lot of interactions of people oh, going, yeah. Huh, huh. yeah. and it was really just me being funny, uh, but but nah, dude. I, I was just I was just feeling I was feeling good. Nice. I, I haven't worn a suit in a while either. You guys look good. You Thank look good. You. But that was that was interesting. Yeah, I saw that one. That one got a lot of interaction on Twitter because <laughs> you're just like, what, 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 dude? I was thinking about. I'm like, I, I'm not like even the idea of people thinking I was having a kid just made me like panic. Really? Like, there's no way. There's no, <laughs> absolutely no way, dude. Like when I think of like like Tim, Tim Hansen. Yeah, yeah. All do res like all respect to the guy. Yeah. Seriously, like in no way I'm saying oh don't if you don't want it like don't do it. If, like, right. If someone wants to do you that, kids absolutely. Kids, yeah. But I don't know how he does it. I I, I don't I know either. I couldn't do it. I don't I, even feel like I'm f mentally prepared to have a child. Yeah. Like the cat is is much easier than a child, but even that's like a bit of responsibility you have to think about. Dude, that's so crazy. I, I I was talking to him about this. I'm like, every time I talk to him, I'm like, listen, I don't want kids until I'm in my like thirties. It has to be in my thirties. Okay. I, you not, got plenty of time. I'm not doing no 29, 28. No, <laughs> not happening. It's gotta be thirties. <laughs> Matt's over here like <laughs> hard cut off. <laughs> what did she say about that? Uh, she's fine with that. Yeah. I think she would she would want like 30s around the dot or something. Well, if you're yeah, because she's younger than you though, right? Yeah, well, so she, it wouldn't yeah, be she's, that bad. She's like her. a year or two younger, but it's like. I, but I was telling her, okay, is she one of those girls who's like I want to be a hot mom? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, she <laughs> she, she the same way. She wants to be she wants to be like the the young mom. Yeah, and she yeah, wants to, yeah, yeah. She wants to have kids because she's Emmy is so like like family like. um not that I'm not family either, but it's like, she's like, Emmy already like, I don't know. She's very like, she's a chat mom. Yeah. She's already got the mom, the mom. She already has mentality. the mom vibe. Like she's very motherly already. It's really like, yeah. interesting. But, but I was, I was like, like, please like cat or dog first, please. Marriage first, please. Yeah. Oh, and she wouldn't want to do it before marriage though. But, um, Dude, it got me. Y'all got me thinking about my life, though. When I saw that, when everybody's replying, that, I'm like, guys, I have so much stuff on my plate right now. There's no way I would ever. 
Yeah. No way, dude. There's no way. I would, I would, I would literally like. <laughs> I didn't think so, but you know, I was like, I was, I'm gonna say it just because. No, and also, I would tell you first, probably. Well, I knew, I knew you, were, I knew that's what you weren't <laughs> saying. I knew you weren't saying that, but I, I had to like poke, poke the fire a little bit. No one else did it that I saw, so I was like, how has no one said anything so about people this? People in yet? my chat today were, as well. We're going, dude. Congrats, man. <laughs> it's like God, <laughs> God, <laughs> that's good, dude. Another another thing that uh, that made me think about, uh, dude, I was I was thinking about like, and in no way I'm saying that I'm ready to get married yet. That's not what I'm saying, but I was thinking because I went to a wedding this weekend, mm. and it just got me thinking about weddings. I'm like, do I want to have a kick ass wedding dude, somewhere? I, we were just but, talking about this with, with some other friends. Apparently, because I've never been to a wedding with Jess. Yeah. I've actually haven't been to a wedding in a long time. Really? But yeah, none of my friends really have gotten married that I've been able to go to yet. So, okay. Um, but, uh, but Noah. Other though. than Noah's. Other yeah. than Noah's. But like recently, I mean. Yeah. And I haven't gone with Jess either. So that's like yeah. their thing. But what they were saying is like, yo, it seems like whenever you go to weddings, the guys are all of a sudden like, yo, let's have a Like, yo, like I'm ready. Before that, like prior to that, it was like, ah, you know, let's take our time here. Let's wait it out a little bit. And then as soon as you go to a wedding together, you're like, yo, like the guy's like all about it. I mean, it sounds like that's what you're at right now. I think like <laughs> going to it made me like kind of think, okay, maybe I could do that earlier than I thought than because thought. I want to have like a kick-ass wedding. <laughs> but, like when, you're, some... when you're 30, will it not be a kick-ass wedding anymore? No, I'm not doing a wedding in my 30s. Oh, okay. So the marriage has to become before 30, but the kids have to come after 30. For me. So what if you're like that's 29. no judgment on you, by the way. This is me. Well, I'm already close to that point anyway, so I'm like not that far off. <laughs> I'll be 28 this year. Yeah, but you still got time. Yeah, I do. But but the thing is, uh, yeah, I was I was thinking. Oh shoot, I was thinking. For for me, I just I'm like I want to be married for a bit before I have kids, and I also want to date a bit before I I get married. So I, I don't want to get married like on year one. Yeah, that would be kind um, of a rush. Yeah. And I feel like everybody would be kind of like, JC, what? What are you doing? Granted, there's people who do that and they're happy. But yeah. um, I was thinking more about it. And I was like, I was just thinking, I'm like, hmm. I want to have a kick-ass wedding at some point. Where do I want to have it? I don't know. And then my brain went Hawaii. And then my brain went, oh I don't know. All, like, all these like crazy. Because <laughs> I was thinking just like. All the boys going to Noah's wedding and how much fun that was. Yeah. I'm like, you got to make it like different somehow than than what we did before. You what, know what I mean? Yeah. You wanna, like every yeah. trip we've done as yeah. people, like I'm is, like, is it a, is gonna be a lost theme? No, I don't know if it would be. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. If it would I mean, be, a Hawaii but, wedding would be good. You probably wouldn't have as many people come out. That's true. All in all, because it's, it's a little more expensive, difficult to get to. Especially for people that don't live in LA. But I was just thinking of like, what's a cool like Hawaii location to do sick. it? Because I don't, I don't really want to do it eventually in my hometown. I don't really see right. that. Like Noah, Noah's wedding like made sense because it was like, it was like it was Texas. Yeah. Noah's Texas, Texas, Texas forever. bound. Like that is Noah. Like, but I'm like not really that proud of Alabama <laughs> as a state. <laughs> like I really don't like care that much if I'm. Yeah. Uh, if it's not in Alabama, Emmy would probably want it somewhere in Cali, probably. That's what Jess wants. Yeah, and I'm just like, I don't. And then, then with that, I'm like, hmm, where would I ha- want to have it? Grant, be all probably Emmy's choice. Yeah, but I was just. I mean, well, if I you're just, indifferent about it, then she probably just pick what she wants. Well, I would, I would love to make the decision together, but I don't know if that will happen. Hawaii's cool. Dude, that I just, wanna, just, just be a lot more. It'd be a lot more expensive. I just want to go to Hawaii in general with the boys. Dude, we gotta. I've never been. Please, Pl- I'm down. Please. That's Pl- probably where my honeymoon's gonna be. Is in Hawaii. It's probably where mine's gonna be. Yeah. Probably. Be easier to have a wedding there. <laughs> it's then definitely. Too. Me and Emmy have already talked about that. If we ever have like a honeymoon, it's gonna be tropical. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we want to do anything else than tropical. No, nah, I don't think most people want to go. To the, to the deep snow islands <laughs> lost i say it every podcast people hate me dude and, you guys were talking about on your stream today lost being a top 10 show and i was like by what metric by me okay it's got it's fair enough it's top 10 <laughs> easily top 10 of all time easily 
for me it's top it's one but well, like yeah for you it's top I, 10. it's easily of like of like ch- television changing shows easily top 10 easily easily matt okay so like an innovation score it's top 10 it's definitely not the most popular top 10 there's no way there's no way it's probably not even top 50 no that there's no way i refuse to believe that. i based on like what viewers like not popularity of view count viewers and reception what is reception that's different first couple of seasons but what does that mean? What is reception? Like like ratings? Yeah. Like ratings as in like how many people keep coming back and watching it? Well, not ratings, I guess. More it's like it's like I know it breaking bad has some of like the highest rated television episodes ever. Probably. Yeah. Right? It's like that probably com- in combination with ratings, probably. The Game of Thrones is up there. Well, I I eyes, when I say ratings, I mean like Nielsen ratings, like that's just the number of people that watched it, is really what it is. Yeah. So like I mean, the score would be like the millions of people. G- Game of Thrones it. has to be like top three or Breaking something. Bad and Game of Thrones are up there. There are other a lot of older shows that are also up there though, because network TV was bigger That's back true. in the day. That's true. But I'm telling you, dude, like from a top view count 10. perspective, no chance. I would bet a lot of money that well, it's maybe, not top maybe 10. not view count. Like ratings, like Nielsen ratings, like how many people tuned I, in to watch it? I'm just or saying how many people watched it over time. There's so many shows out 10. there. Top 10. Top 10. I have to. Top believe. 10 by JC's metrics, and that's all that matters. <laughs> and that's why I want to have a I got to watch it. I got to watch it. I can't judge it until I watch it. But I'm just saying, you know, from an objective standpoint, it's not top 10. <laughs> Dude, I would like, I, I don't even think you understand. I would do, like, I, I love that show so much. I would make a podcast for that show. You I, probably could. I would make, I could make a podcast just. Going, hey guys, we're going to talk about episode one today and just reacting to episode one and just do that for three you years. You probably of my life. could. You honestly probably could. And, and just, I could just talk about it forever. I could, literally could talk about it forever. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like my religion. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, the, the fact that you're that into it makes me want to watch it. Maybe that's what Jess and I will watch next because we have we don't have a show right now. We just finished some other shows that were kind of meh. What'd you finish? There's a new one on Netflix called Marriage or Mortgage. It's Marriage or Mortgage. I'll give it this. It's it's better than it sounds, but it's not that great. It's basically couples in Nashville, Tennessee, where you just were. Oh. And they have a budget of like usually like thirty thousand dollars, and they yeah. can either put it towards a mortgage on a house, or they can have a great their wedding of their dreams with it. But they can't have both because they only have you know X amount of money. And they go to these two chicks that are like a wedding planner and a real estate agent. And they, you know, you get to see all the houses and put together a wedding. And then at the end you choose which one you want to do. And then, then that's it. That's the, that's the episode. I feel like most people would choose mortgage. You would think. Really? I don't want to, no one's going to care. No one's going to care, right? Spoilers <laughs> don't, whatever. 80% of them picked marriage. What? There's like 10 episodes. I think eight out of the 10 picked marriage. Wow. Some of the times it was like, this is a, amazing house that has exactly what they want and it's under their budget and they still chose the marriage and it's like what the what are you doing <laughs> but the worst part is that they recorded it and almost every single marriage hit was covid so they had to like not do like the majority of them so they all lost their dream houses and then ended up going with the marriage and didn't even have the wedding that they planned because they couldn't because of covid and i was like that no. is horrible. That's so weird. What the hell? I was just that, like, man, I almost, I just feel bad. It's like I would have chosen mortgage like almost every single time. Yeah. Maybe one or two scenarios where I'm like, oh, marriage probably better. Oh my God. What, what's another show you watched recently? You said that you had another one. Um, We watched The Sinner, which was dark. Jessica Biel. Oh, I think. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's, it, was, it, was, it was pretty dark. It was pretty good. Um, Those are the last two I can remember. We just watched something else, but I totally forgot what it was. So y'all ever, y'all ever watch oh, Falcon? Oh, we just watched 40 Year Old Virgin for the first time. The movie. <laughs> I'd never seen it, so I was like, I gotta see it. It's a great movie. It's pretty yeah. good. It's pretty funny. Did you ever watch Falcon? No. I'm not. You just I want, gotta, want I gotta try. to do it for you, and you're like, no, nah, no Falcon. That one, either that or Lost next. I feel like you're gonna choose Lost. I, I think we should go Lost. The thing with Lost, though, is that it's so long. I don't care. I like long shows. I like, I prefer a long, deeper show. But also the thing with Lost is if you say you're watching Lost, that is going to incline me to come over to watch Lost. Uh, wait, where can I watch it? Like Hulu. Is it like Hulu? Are you sure? Okay. All right. 
done. Dude, no, you can do that to me. Yeah, dude, we'll do it. I forgot about that. I forgot that. I was like, yeah, what country? We, what, what show can we watch you, next? Let me talk to you more about it. I need to make sure the right headspace. Dude, maybe we'll just do a lost episode after I finish. After we finish watching it. Oh. That way you can have your podcast spiel on Lost. It won't be one episode by episode. It'll be the whole show in one episode. Uh, dude, I'm so curious if you'd even like it or not. We're going to find out. If it's, if it's as good as you say, if it's a top 10 show ever, then it, I would, I would imagine be, that I would like it. It's going to be so funny if you're like, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Why does he like this? Nah, I'm, I'm pretty easy. I'm pretty easy on that. It's easy to get me um, like interested in a show. Dude, mm. That really makes me want to watch it with you. Like that had to be. You can. We just have no couch right now, so <laughs> we'll have to just. Yeah, can you talk about that? I so, walked in today to record the podcast, guys, and he literally like I walked in and I just there was just nothing in his living room. <laughs> it's like a big I, empty. I thought room. something was wrong. I was like, did you get like right. did you get like raided? Well, I mean, kinda by Facebook Marketplace today. Yeah, <laughs> and Marley like their cat was just on the ground. <laughs> In the middle of the floor, just looking. <laughs> yeah, she so got a lot funny. of space to run around now. We're we're redoing the floors and repainting the walls downstairs. Wow. So in yeah. an effort to do that, like instead of moving all the furniture upstairs or, or away to redo all the floors. I forgot I you like, said you were repainting the floor the walls too. Yeah. That's crazy. So I was like, let's just sell the furniture and then redo the floors and then put the new furniture in so we don't have to worry about moving at all. That's pretty smart. Smart, except for you don't have a couch for a bit. Jess is like, list the stuff, lift the stuff, list the stuff, put it on Facebook. And I was like, okay, I'll put it on. And then it sold in 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have listed them a little higher than I did because they went real fast. Uh, so yeah. yeah, I sold like half of the stuff that we listed today in one day. That's crazy. Like I've four never people even come used through. Facebook Marketplace ever. Oh, I've, I've, I've sold probably, I'm probably closing in on like 100 things on there. I use it. It's so good. Wow. Here's a little tip. If you guys sell on eBay or Amazon or Craigslist, stop wasting your time selling Facebook Marketplace. Not only is it got a, like, easily the biggest pool of potential buyers because it's Facebook, mm -hmm. they don't charge fees. Mm. On, Am on Amazon, the fee's like 14%. eBay, the fees can be up as high as like 20% sometimes, depending yeah. on what you're selling. Craigslist is, I mean, it's Craigslist, like, be careful. Uh, but Facebook Marketplace, the interface is phenomenal. It's so easy to use and it's it's free. Dude, this reminds me of, so me and Emmy recently discovered that because uh, we always did like Instacart. Not always, but we yeah. do Instacart a lot. Mm -hmm. There'd just be such a high fee. But apparently with Amazon Prime, you can get, uh, if you have Prime, you can get like Amazon, I forgot what it's called, like Amazon deliveries? Fresh or something yeah, like Amazon that. Amazon Fresh, that's what it and is. And it comes from like the Amazon Fresh store or something. And it's free delivery? I think it's like base. It was basically free. I oh, think I'm doing that. <laughs> like I, think I didn't even know that was a thing. It, it, it's definitely cheaper than Instacart. Whatever it is, it was just way cheaper than Instacart for us, and it was like two hour delivery. Oh man. Yeah. Like you yeah, just said. I, I love my Prime, but if that's another feature, like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm our, pr yeah. You need to check that out because we did it. We did it. And we're like, it was oh, pretty I'm good. Write that down actually. Or at least, at least look at it and see what the prices are because it was pretty yeah, good. Yeah, that's, that's a good move. And it helps out with timing. I, again, going to the grocery store takes a lot of time. It does. Some first I, world problems, but seriously. Yeah. Hey, I mean, yeah. Some, a lot of days you just have to look at it like, hey, is it going to cost me more time or more money to go do this? Like, what is my time worth? You have to kind of like time out like weigh money. it. money. Yeah. So if it's going to take you like three hours to grocery shop, that's kind of a long time. But sometimes it might take you a long time. I don't know. Okay, can so, I ask you a question? Yeah. How are you feeling about I need I need I can't put you on the spot. Yeah. What are you doing with your channels right now? Good question. I have a good answer too. I'm so thrilled to answer. Really? Is it, are you being sarcastic? No, no, no. Okay, I'm because serious. because I saw that the money for you channel is private. Is back private. I couldn't see it. No. <laughs> no, nah, it shouldn't be private. It should be, it should be called money. It should be called Reddit for you now. We switched it back. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. I saw that. So you did see it. But I, I you said, lied. No, I said money for you is privated. Because it's, it's not called money for you anymore. So I was right. Oh, the, like the URL? Like the name of the whole channel. I couldn't find money for you. Oh, it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. yeah. It's gone. So okay. what's going on? Let me explain quickly because I don't want to bore you with this. Okay. 
MC Sport Talk have absolutely no clue what I'm doing with it. There's a chance that it's basically like Patch Channel where it's it's done. I might be retiring on that for at least the time being. I don't have a good solution for that one. Money for You is now Reddit for You again. Long story short, we tried changing to Money for You. There's a channel community warning from a old video Lex and I did reacting to like some fails and they flagged it for child violence because some kid fell off a bike and like <laughs> ate shit. And oh, I was like, no. you gotta be kidding me. So anyway, got a warning. Long story short of that is that you can't, you can't use all the features on YouTube once you have a warning. And because we deleted the video, I can't remove the warning. So it's like stuck in like this phase of, it, it doesn't have like most, like I can't use chapter markers on that channel. And as, as far as I know, I can't get, like, I don't know how to get them back because I can't remove the, the warning strike. Because yeah. the video is, you can't appeal it because the video is deleted. So what? So what's happening? You- so I was like, okay, shit, money for you doesn't work. I also was like, I talked, I told you I, the one episode we talked about. Should I start a new channel or, or rock with yeah. the old one? I was back and forth on it. I did a couple of videos for money for you on there, and I was like, every time we posted, I lost subscribers. And I was like, these people here didn't subscribe for money finance content. Yeah, probably not the best idea to try to force it on them, especially when the channel already has issues. Yeah. So I'm going to choose the option that Chucky said that you also kind of said that I also thought starting a new channel fresh, which I've done. I've been, I've posted every day for like the last nine days, which is saying something for me. Wait, what channel is this? I don't know if I should say it or not. (laughs) Wait, don't, don't say it then. You have to find it. Wait, really? (laughs) Yeah. Because I don't even know it existed. No one really. I've only said it once. I said it on stream because people really wanted to know, but that's the only time I said it. It's on a VOD somewhere. I don't even know what's so you have you have a finance channel yeah i've been doing it for like the last week week and a half i've I've posted like 10 or 11 videos 10 like straight i haven't missed a single day yet i'm trying to go the whole year without missing a day i've streamed like four times and posted like six videos i think so what the hell that's so i know it's it's weird to say it's weird because it's like I, i haven't tweeted it i haven't posted it anywhere i haven't done anything it's literally i just started uploading that's it I did a whole pot. I had a whole, did a whole show with, with, with Pat on it. It's like a sixty-minute video with him. What talking about crypto, finance, investing, his career, like all kinds of shit. Yeah, I posted it on Saturday. Did Pat link it? No, he subscribed to it, but he, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't link it. What? I didn't he's even. Just, I didn't post it. I just I sent it to him. I was like, here it is. Like, check it out, and that's it. <laughs> is it doing well? Uh, they have like the, most videos have like seventy views. Which for literally telling no one, I'm not, I'm not upset about. So you just, you're playing it. You think it's just going to eventually. I'm playing the algorithm. This is a test. This is like a really good test to see like, is the algorithm the key to YouTube these days? Do you need to have a pre-existing following? According to Chucky, the better way to do it is don't even worry about your old following. Even if it's related, like just start a new channel and do good content and the algorithm will pick it up and it'll give you the people you want. I'm like, Hey man, if that's how it goes, like I'm all for it. Damn. It's crazy. It's such, it's so different because I've done this, you know, we've done this for yeah, so yeah. long, like 12 years. I've done it for 12 years. It's been around. For, it's always like you should be posting everything you do on socials and pushing your existing audience to your new videos and like getting everyone aware of what's going on. Like yeah. marketing 101. Yeah. This is like the exact opposite. It's like tell nobody, say nothing, just do good content. YouTube will feed it to you. Like the algorithm works so well these days. If you do the things right, it'll come. I will say this, I've watched other channels on crypto over the last five months, absolutely blow up, like massive blow up, yeah. like a hundred thousand to like a million in yeah. five months. Yeah. These channels are going nuts because of what's happening right now. Like everyone's kind of like asking what's well, going on. Well, just think on. of it like, I mean, again, think of it like how amazing it was to just, if you, if you made high quality content during like the BO3 days, how easy it was for your channel just to get like Get some traction. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Get some traction. Now it's a lot harder because that right. was like the prime time, right? right? But it's the prime time of crypto right now. I would say so this Maybe year. Maybe not even at the peak, right? But but in, in terms of the I would ta- say it's how getting, many, it's how getting how close to hitting. I don't know. We'll see the rest of the year. This year is definitely the time to do it. Yeah. But here's the other thing. Like once you, once you realize it's the time to do it, it's too late. Yeah. You got to be like... These other channels, like I was saying, like they were small channels and I'm watching a lot of these guys, no offense to them. I'm not going to name anyone, but 
there's a good amount of them that know so much less than I do when it comes to how this stuff works. Yeah. But they're blowing up because they're posting good content and they're posting consistently and they're hitting the topics people want to know about. And they were there from like a year ago. Yeah. Doing the same stuff. And they're, they're already like, they already have a foundation set and now they're blowing up. I'm late to the game. Sadly, mm. I should have done this. Uh, every time I say this for every channel I try to start, I'm like, man, I'm too late. Should have done it earlier. Yeah. But I was, I was also like, you know, six months ago, I was also like, I just don't know enough. I don't understand. But enough. you might not be too, too late. No, I, I think if that's what I'm saying, I got to hit every single day, sometimes twice a day. I think if I do that, I'll probably be, I'll probably catch the, you know, catch Dude, it. How are you having time to do that? So I, we reworked like my focus and team playback for the time being not doing MC stuff. The, like I said, the Reddit for you stuff, we're actually going to re-upload all the Reddit for you videos re because them? yeah, re-upload them because we have them and people wanted to watch them again. So I was like why not just upload them all again? There's like 200 videos, like 250, 250 videos. So you're trying to upload them again? Yeah, we're gonna, it's gonna take a while, but we're gonna upload them all again. Uh, Roman's helping with me with that because okay. he owns that channel as well. So that'll, those will all go back up if you wanna see those. That channel, don't expect it to continue, but it's got almost a year's worth of uploads daily. So we'll might as well upload them again. Um, the Team Playback channel is also in a hiatus because the YouTube studio closed Yeah, permanently. And we looked into it. LA studios to rent for a day for what we need are like seven hundred to a thousand dollars for the day. So, from a financial business perspective, that channel is very difficult to justify doing content for right now when we're doing a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of put on a hold, which really stinks because it was actually like some of the videos hit five hundred thousand a million views. Yeah, which is nuts for a twenty k sub channel. So there's definitely, that's definitely going to get continued, but probably not for a couple months at least until we are able to afford it and have the time to do it. But that channel will come back at some point. Irrelevant, we're still doing. Yep. Hell yeah, we're Hell still yeah. doing it. So basically when you break it down that way, I got Irrelevant once a week and then Crypto Channel every day. And then I have four-ish other clients. I have Tio, Amanda Steele, uh, two other small channels that no one's going to know about. Uh, and that's it. Those are like, that's what, that's what I'm doing day to day. So I do cryptos like 75% of my workload. And then the other clients take uh, two hours a day, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's, I mean, right now it's actually and not the, that and then bad. streaming maybe. Well, then I stream. Yeah. I stream like, it's like nine hours a week, like three hours, three hours, three hours, three times a, a week. So you got it all like organized. It's, it's become like a routine a little bit now, yeah. That's good. Which is which is pretty good. Uh, once we start, to, I also do a lot of like managerial stuff for team playback. Like a lot of the financial stuff. And yeah. there's actually, I don't even, there's actually, a, Roman and I are actually working on a couple other channels. <laughs> and this is why I know the crypto channel has a chance to blow up because we made a channel 26 days ago. Mm -hmm. It has 18 videos. And it already is monetized. It's got 7,000 watch hours and 2,000 subs. And I don't know what this channel is? Nope. And this isn't crypto? I, that might not sound this isn't crypto? crazy. No, it's not crypto. That is that another one? Oh, there's two other ones. That was That's the newer one. The other one's six months old. It's got 200,000 subs and like, I don't know, like 50 million views already. Do I know what that one is? No. And it's yours as well? I, I own part of it. It's mostly Roman. Bro, what? Yeah, you, you just dude, have like three other channels that I don't I'm know. I'm telling about. you, bro. One, the algorithm, it's different. The game is different now. It's all about the algorithm, <laughs> dude. All you, all you need to do is be consistent and know the game and put out good, decent enough content. And it's if it, once you get picked up, that's it. You're, you're good. You're, you're moving. It's, it's like, it actually pains me to say it a little bit that it's like. The content almost doesn't matter. At, it does matter, but it, like the analytical and especially the thumbnails and the consistency really matter. Yeah. Where I feel like it used to be like people cared about, they did, still do, but like they really cared about like who personality and like, like what their content is and is it funny, is it entertaining? That, that to me was like the driving force, but it's also possible we just didn't understand how the algorithm worked then and we just don't realize like that it was always a thing. Yeah. But nowadays it just seems like, I don't know, like the, I don't want to say what the channels are, but yeah, don't the, uh, the content we're posting on there is like 
by no means like the video you're going to put out that you showed me before this is infinitely better than the content we're posting. Damn. I don't want that. That doesn't, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings <laughs> by saying that. But that's my point is like that to me, your video is so, so much better objectively than these videos we're posting daily. But some of these videos have four, five, six million views. <laughs> Rest in peace. Thank you, Bam, for the edit. Appreciate it. It's just like, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough because it's it, it's like well, a grind. It's well, it's a grind. Like, it's like, it's quality over quantity and, and just like playing the game. See, I've been, I've been, you know, I was talking about this on one of the other podcast episodes, but you know, the, the video that Matt's referring to is, so I'm doing these like loud ones debate videos and they're, they're essentially zombies versus that I did back in the day. And if and you haven't checked out the first one, you are missing out on some of the best content that there's been two has now. been posted this year. Yeah. yeah. And, and this, yeah, it's, okay. I, I did, I did one in December and it was like game of the, what is game of the year? And mm -hmm. then a couple months later in like February or March, I did, uh, what video game world would you live in? And then now the next one is what is the best food on the planet? And it's just really crazy topics, like very different topics. So I don't know how it's ever going to find consistency, but the videos are so quality that it's like. If as long as they're just good, hopefully people will become fans of it, in my opinion. So I'm trying to go like this other route where I'm like, please personality, please prevail. Yeah. Uh, but and and I changed the thumbnail style last time. And that was like the biggest thing that didn't get it views is because I first of all, I didn't want to call it zombies versus. So I switched it to loud ones debate because it makes no sense to tell it zombies anymore. So I, I wanted that to be different. And so I changed that. And then also also, it's a higher standard of quality than the original ones were. Right. So I think it just needs to be tell something different. Um, and the other thing is I am now doing this thumbnail style that's like, it's like cartoon. It's uh, it's, it's drawn by a, a, a fan of like all the Boogie Boy stuff. Hunter, he's freaking awesome. And he drew, uh, he drew like the new, the new thumbnail literally in a day. Literally today. I was just like, hey, I got the video done finally. Can I ask for this thumbnail? Uh, it needs to be about food. Here's a couple of like ideas, maybe. I don't know. Mm. And he got back to me, and it's like perfect. It's like four <laughs> of us around a table with a loud ones menu, and it's like cartoon versions of us in like a lounge sort of restaurant. Yeah. It's like perfect. And I, but I'm like, will people know that's what this video is, or will they just see it and just right. scroll past it? I don't know. But maybe if I just keep it up with that thumbnail style, then it becomes very distinctive of what it is yes because like my plan is i want to do that more and more and more and more and the more people see that like cartoon style the more they're gonna go that's a loud ones debate video i know it because he would not make a cartoon thumbnail for it if it wasn't right that's like my goal with it so i'm hoping this is the second one i'm doing the cartoon style with but i'm hoping the more that i can do that people will sort of catch on eventually yeah, become recognized the last one got like 15k views i think is that Which, where it's still at? I think so. And I'd be happy, honestly, if it just gets over 10K. That's that's fine with me. I just, I think the videos deserve way more, though. They do. But, you know. The, if, that's the hard if part. If those videos like, were back in the BO3 days, they would uh, be, be popping. They'd yeah. be like 200K, yeah. 300K. Yeah. Uh, easy. But it's it's just, you know, we're washed up content creators. <laughs> we're washed up. <laughs> Dude, the other thing, but yeah. It's I mean, fun, though. It's a really good video. It's coming out probably tomorrow. Probably. It's phenomenal. Definitely go watch it. Or I guess uh, today. We'll link it. When this video is. We'll link it. Yeah. I'll link out. it in the in the description of this video too. So we, yeah. you guys can go check it out. It's definitely worth watching. The only thing with those is tough. is like they're so. The editing is so good. It takes so long to do that it's very hard to build consistency and like put them out every month. Yeah. Like every month or so even because that's how you really grow the recognition. Yeah. It's hard to do when it's like, you know, it takes a couple months to do them. Yeah. Just got to give Bam a fatter paycheck with it, honestly. Get him to do it quicker. I mean, but it's it's some almost things like you just take a lot of you time. You don't want to rush him though yeah. to make one of those because it's like I I thought about it. And I'm like I'm like, dude, like I'm just so happy that he can even edit that for me in the way that he does because it's it's way better than I could edit. Right. Uh, it still captures the style that I did do like years ago. It's like it's slightly the style that I it's it's like halfway the style that I did, but mm -hmm. with his like magic to it, and it's just great. It's so good and like. Every time he gives it to me, I'm like, dude, just thank you for giving, like, just giving me this, this piece of art every single time. I don't deserve thank this. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for blessing me. With because this beautiful 
Chef's kiss. Yeah, and I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, I, I, this, this man's amazing. Um, so I hope I, I don't burn him out on it if we, if we do more episodes. But I, he's got to, he's got to look at those videos and find them hilarious. So I know he. Dude, has to. they're so good. They're funny too. Yeah, they're. This so one's funny. really funny. Definitely watch it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess see if you can find the uh, the channel, my channel. So you're going, you're going very algorithm route. Uh, I have to and try very, it. And, and like content and consistency route. I'm going, I'm going to make the best video of all time. <laughs> and and I'm going to put the cartoon thumbnail on it and it's going to be the personality and eventually it's going to work. Yeah. Well, I'm not. Well, maybe there's yeah. two sides of the coin. Maybe that maybe. Well, you I'm also, I mean, I'm also trying to make my videos as good as I possibly can. I know, I'm not and saying be super not, informational, but, but yeah, I think but just the, the consistency in, and, and frequency yeah. is the thing. That but I'm it's really impossible to, to make something as good as like, like the edit of like the BAM video. Oh yeah. Cause he spent literally a month on it. Oh like, yeah. It's, it's nowhere near that. Yeah. So yeah, it's crazy. I, I'm curious to see what will happen with all that, with both of our stuff. It's, it's kind of fun. We'll see. But. We'll see. I'm, I'm going to see how long I can go on this daily streak. I know it's going to be a grind, but I'm, I'm like, it won't be a true test unless I really do hit every single day for yeah. at least a couple months, which is so difficult to do, especially when it's one person doing most of the stuff. But the time is there. Just got to make it happen. I believe in you. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't even know you were doing that. I know. I, didn't, I, lit I literally time. did not tell anyone <laughs> except you, for my chat once. You tell Jess? She knows. Yeah, she knows what it is. She doesn't oh, care, though. You go interrogate Jess. She doesn't care. She, dude, she literally just yells at me. She's like, Bitcoin's down. I lost all my money. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, bro. It's got to come win. back. You're still up on ADA, though. You're good, right? Yeah, I mean, it's still over a dollar. Yeah. So I'm, I'm good. I'm good no matter what. I'm I'm, I'm soaring. You're soaring? I'm happy. You're flying? I'm, as long as ADA's above a dollar, I'm happy. There's not a star in heaven you can't reach? If we're trying. He got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> I was singing that on stream I today. was wondering. Oh, really? Yeah, that's really funny. Okay. You didn't even know that. I didn't know that. No, I wasn't yeah. there for that part. Yeah, it was, it was when I was playing with Chop. I started singing it while we are playing Outbreak, and Chop was like, huh? And I was like, tell me you know that song. And I think he did. He just didn't want to sing it. Does he know sing. High School Musical? I don't know. He, he, I think he does. Everyone has to know that. Our yeah. age, I feel like you have to. It's high School Musical is so good. Dude, Olivia Rodrigo is on the High School Musical, the musical. Really? You know, it's like where she started. Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't think I saw the that that. Uh, I think I only saw the one and two, and the well, a later. Well, versions. the High School Musical musical is new. Oh, like new, new. Yeah, it's like so. All right, you know the song "Driver's License." Yeah. Or "Driver License," yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so her Olivia, I think it's Olivia Rodrigo. I hope mm -hmm. I say her name right. So she she's like one of the main stars. I think that was on the new High School Musical, the musical show. Which is just like this kind of weird sequel thing that they're doing like now in like 2020. With all different people? Yeah. Interesting. Um, and that's where she like. That's where she got her fame from? I like think so. I think up. that's where she like came through and then, then she made that driver's license song and took off. But Okay. Um, but I think. I'm just all according to Emmy in my head. So I don't know. But. Dude, High School Musical is good. I, if anybody says High School Musical no, isn't good. It was, a, it was a good. It was, it, was, it was good. Say what you will, but it was good. And also, Outbreak was pretty good. The Easter egg. Okay. It was good. It looked, I watched you play. It looked like, it looked pretty legit. I just don't understand. I don't even know what Outbreak is, dude. It's kind of sad to say that. That, like, I have no freaking clue how it works. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> it's, dude, it's, it's kind of bad, but... Outbreak's good because it's... It's chill. It, I don't know how to even... It's... It's a way better streaming streaming mode for for zombies for i think eventually the more like, the more they can do with outbreak the better because what i've learned is every time i'm streaming outbreak i'm able to actually talk to my chat when i'm streaming normal zombies i just can't it's too hard for, to focus for, for like you know especially cold war and stuff it's right. just so many are running at you but with outbreak it's like there's a lot of like lulls in the action so it's like i might just run into a house and chill there for a second and, and it's not, they're not just always swarming you. So there's a lot of like breaks and you can explore a little bit and kind of do what you want to do. It's, okay. it's very, it's chill, but it's fun. Me and me and Chop did the Easter egg today. He ran me through it and I thought it was pretty good. Apparently there's a lot of drama with it though. Like, like community drama or? Like, like Noah died at one point when he was playing and he got pissed. I did see so <laughs> some banter in the discord. 
Really? Day of, and yeah. And then I saw some tweets regarding that, and I was like, hmm. Mm. I don't know what happened, but it seems like there's a little bit of tension. I don't know what happened. <laughs> dude, Easter egg hunts are wild, dude. That was the first Easter egg hunt I've ever missed. Ever. Really? Like, actually ever since Ascension. How do you feel? Pretty good, honestly. <laughs> It really was not that big of a deal. I f- I feel great. I still I, I don't I still don't like missing it, but it it was fine. It was fine. It was fun to run through it today after the fact. Mm. But yeah, it was it was good. It was good. It was a good time. So what do you have for me, Matt? You have you've been looking at this list. Well, I mean, you know, your phone. I I figured we do a little bit of who's most likely to. That was a, that was a suggestion on your stream today. Yeah, this is something. Gave. So the way we went in this podcast today. I think yeah is we want to do this sort of huge transition from talking about outbreak here guys but we want to do this most likely to thing is this between me and you I think so yeah. it's a most likely to questionnaire and it has questions from all sorts of different categories apparently <laughs> I'll just pick a couple okay, of them pick, we'll just run through them we'll see where the, it leads. I'm putting this one laughing because this one says who's most likely to become an influencer <laughs> But what about both of us at this rate? If we had to redo it, probably you. Uh, I don't know about that. Nah, it's you. Why do you say that? <laughs> because you, you're just you're so on point with consistency with your channels right now. I'm not. Bro, what do you mean? I, I can't. I, I've changed one channel to a different channel, <laughs> changed it back to another channel, have abandoned many other channels, MCs like all over the place for years. Who, okay, I, I would say the opposite of that. I have failed miserably on keeping consistency. I'm all over the place. <laughs> oh, I disagree. Okay. Irrelevant. It's well, still going. Here, I'll make you a deal. If this channel that no one knows the name of becomes big, then I will say, yes, it is me. Okay. If not, then I would say probably you. With my loud ones debate episode. Your videos still get over 10K <laughs> views. I don't get that. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you, guys. Okay, who's most likely to become rich? Definitely you. That depends <laughs> on Cardano. I know. <laughs> Actually, I think I own more Cardano than you, though, at that point. You might, but not the original price I got in. No, of yes. course not. Of course not. But I think you, you got in way better than that. If did. crypto explodes like it does, I think you for sure. Because I didn't put it in. Well, enough. I do have definitely have more than you in crypto. Overall, so I guess if if that happens, then I guess you could say if me. crypto goes to the moon. But you know, you, there are other factors. There are other factors. There are other factors. I just that's wild. That's what I'm saying to you though. Cause, okay, because you're you're so business minded. Well, I'm I feel like, I'm running a finance channel now, so I would I would hope yeah. I would do pretty well <laughs> in that realm. Otherwise, it's really kind of like, well, what kind of <laughs> finance channel are you if you're broke? You got to at least know at least know what you're talking about a little bit. Um, okay. These are kind of good. I like these. You, here, you pick some. Okay. There's a bunch of options. Who? <laughs> what the heck is this? Write a best-selling book. Who out of me and you? Who would write a best-selling Ooh. book? My dad wrote Little dad, River. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Dad Fires got the, the the novel under his belt. It probably runs in the genes. I love writing. Yeah, but I don't, know I what don't I would write, love though. writing. I don't know what I'd I. Write, I'm though. going you for sure on this one. Okay, I'll t- I'll take that one. I I I did tell you I wrote that script and yeah, that's that, right. Like of that television pilot. I think my stuff will maybe write it like a screenplay, but it maybe ends up being a book. I don't yeah, know. and I just think you're mu- you really like story and you've yeah. appreciated a lot of story. I think it definitely be you on this one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that one. What is okay? Win a televised talent show. Win a uh, out of out of me and you who to win a televised talent show. Talents, oh, that's like talent shows are like. Okay, me and you, are, me and you on Survivor, who wins? Oh, that's different. I'm, I'm winning that, no question. Look what? at you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're canoeing one time, and he's like peeling from okay, the, wait, from the what, shoulders down. What if we could get rid of the sunburn? <laughs> no, that's part of it. <laughs> You're in the wilderness. Okay, talent show. I don't know because I don't know if I have many like Survivor. talent show talents. Survivor? I've always wanted to go on Survivor. 
The mental game, Matt. Okay. The mental Let's game. Let's walk through this. This is I'm a not one. the physical game. I will okay. give you the physical, physical game. Physical, I take. Yes. Ability to stay in the sun, I definitely take. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more to it than that. How are you in the wilderness? How is your fire making skill? How is your your crafting, like your your woodsmanship? Is it woodsmanship? Craftsmanship? What's the word I'm looking for here? Yeah, craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. craftsmanship like like uh, woodwork. Ability to like a build like a fort. I did that as a kid a lot. We built okay, forts. Matt may have that as we well. We built forts. But. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you have, maybe like, I don't, I'm you not super. Survivor? Yeah, I watched it for a long time. Do we used say. to watch it with my family all the time. Okay. Okay. Side note. You know, what's coming back. What? Like they're, they're finally, they finally have a new season. I know. Even, I, they still, they've been going they, this whole time. No, I feel like, right? No, but they stopped during COVID. They delayed. Oh, okay. Okay. But they have a new season. Jeff Probst just announced it. Really? Or he said like, oh, it's, it's, it's coming like later this year, I think in like October or something. I would watch that. Are we watching it as a group? Yes. Because that'd be so much fun. Yes, and then we'll decide who is the survivor here. But I, I am like- If you're giving me the, the the wilderness skills, there's then I've definitely won. I'm giving you all the physical skills, but I'm, I, what about the mental game? What about finding a hidden immunity idol? What about, what about just, uh, what about the- Okay, I'll just give you this. Social media. You- Social game. Definitely have- the game understanding better than I because I forgot how I've kind of like forgot a little bit about the show. I'm watching it. You a forgot the word immu- hidden immunity. I well, I don't know. It's a hidden <laughs> one. I know that like you have to fight for the immunity and you go up and you write the names. Uh, of the there's things. always hidden ones. Oh man. You yeah, gotta, but see, the thing is, if I'm winning all the challenges, then it, I don't even need to worry about a hidden immunity. That's true. But what if you miss that one challenge? Oh, I won't win everyone because it's not just me and you. It's true. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I gotta I gotta look there's a guy who won survivor his name was Cochran he was the biggest nerd ever mm. he I, I literally remember one of the first episodes when he was there he legitimately was a lobster like his son it, the sun burned him so bad he was like I'm dying out here like I remember like his little like camera moments were his confessionals like, yeah he's like I'm actually maybe dying or something like that. Like I actually, <laughs> there's a strong chance I, I will die. I am like, I do not belong here. And he ended up winning the game. Wow. Cause he was, he was just smart with his like alliances and stuff and just played it really well mentally. Okay. So that's that. The social game is the biggest part of it. So still. that's my, that I'm, I'm, I want to play. That's always why I want to play survivor too, is for the social Dude, game. Dude, how cool would it be? Dude, you know what we should do? Like a YouTuber survival. To be survivor. so good. That'd, That'd be, be sick. Oh, so good. That would be really sick. Why has not? Why has Mr. Beast not done that? Why has he not? I feel like he's done something similar to that, right? He, he did the island thing, right? Did he put YouTubers on island? Yeah, it was kind. Of, it was kind of like that. It was like last to, last to leave island or last to. It was something like that. Last it was like, like Survivor Island, something like that. If he just literally just took Survivor's script and then put it, yeah, with just, influencers and, and even made them form form teams and stuff where they're competing. That'd be huge. Be I would huge. watch that for sure. Yeah. It'd be so entertaining. I would so be down to compete on that, bro. Imagine Noah gets a team. He's like, yo, I gotta I gotta build a squad. And he picks us. He's like, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking go. We get there, we're like, all right, guys. Be like, yo, Chucky, get me on a team. We gotta, bro. We gotta get the sticks. Putting out for my team. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be great. That'd be really fun. That was that we just got so sidetracked yeah. on that one. But I don't that was know good. who would win that. I think we both I think made you, arguments for ourselves. You have maybe a higher chance because of the winning. You would win no, more. No, but if you, ha, if you have the so, if you have the good alliances and you have the social ability to, you know, you know the st- the strategies behind winning Survivor. That's true. That's maybe. huge. That's the whole game. Let's go. I don't. We're, we're saying we're even on that one, though. Yeah. I'm saying we're even. Um, who would? Uh, okay. There's some interesting ones. Who would win Jeopardy? Oh man! Neither of us, dude. Yeah, probably Honestly. not. We probably get smoked by the third person. <laughs> that third destroyed. person would crush both of us. <laughs> we would definitely get crushed by the third person. Who's most likely to die? Here's a good one. Who's most likely to die first in a horror movie? It's definitely me, dude. It's definitely <laughs> me. It has to be. I watched the Boogie Boys, the final video. Yeah, documentary thing. You, your run. Tells me all I need to know you talk, about the horror you talk movie. About when Noah like ran with me, yeah. and then he stopped running to yeah. make fun of me. Yeah, dude, I'm just a big target. 
Yeah. I'm just this tall, you are tall. Kid. You are I'm a big target. Die. Like, and like I should, came be, down sl- I should be Slender Man, honestly. You could, yeah, you could be. But Slender Man yeah. would take me out. Halloween? Sure. Slender just, Man just, and Slender Woman? Yeah. Just put like a white mask on or something. It'd be so creepy. Be, oh, it'd be weird, like a, a white ski mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! I yeah, definitely me on that one. Here's another one. Um, who would have their own reality TV show? That's gotta be you. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You've always wanted to do something like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, right? you know, the Z House thing was kind of like somewhat near that in a way. Yeah. But yeah. I guess, I guess it's probably fair. All right, you you read some of them now. Reality TV show. Um, who's more likely to run for president? <laughs> I can't see myself running for president, to be honest with you. God, more more likely to by what percentage? Zero point one to zero point two. I feel like you would be more likely than I would. Maybe I but can't. I would never want to be president. That's such a hard job, dude. Yeah, so hard. <laughs> so I feel. I honestly feel bad for presidents. Like you have so much on your plate and so much responsibility, <laughs> like riding on your position. Yeah. I would never want to take that on. That's a lot of stress. You ever yeah, see the, the photos of Barack Obama like before and after office? Is it crazy? Like, oh my God, the dude aged like 40 years. Damn. In eight years. That's nuts. So you or? I, I don't <laughs> feel inclined to, but. Who's before... more likely to become a cat lady? Huh? That's what it you said. You have a cat, to be I fair. I have a cat, to be fair, but you like cats a I lot. Do, I do like cats, but Emmy has a theory that once we have, if we do have a dog, that I'll become like best friends with the dog you more, will. more than her. And I'll maybe not like, she'll love it so much, but she thinks I'm going to become like a dog dad. You, I I, you happen, would, though. but that doesn't mean you like cats any less, probably. Yeah, but cat lady? Well, maybe cat not a lady, lady, but you know, that's what it says because. What about Catwoman, or like I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. Cat dude, cat dog, cat dog, cat dog. Um. Okay, who's most likely to make the first million? That's kind of like the get the rich one in a way. I'm still saying you. Yeah, I feel like that one's probably the probably same answer for going with me and the rich one. <laughs> okay, who's more likely to wind up in the Guinness World Records? The Guinness World Records for what? For what? What, what could I possibly I do in my lifetime? What's your talent? The talent show. Being a loser. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Being a loser. I don't know. What, what so could I possibly do? Like, Jack, please give us some accolades <laughs> and talents that JC has. I don't because know. this man just said being a loser <laughs> is his talent and his world record. Uh, I have no idea. What, I don't know either. I can't think of anything. Was it making, maybe making the greatest video game of all time? Okay. When I'm okay, like yeah. 70 years old one day. I like I'm that. I like that. Or something. That's very possible. Sure. Yeah, okay. We'll give you that one. I can't think of anything. Um, oh, this, these are some weird ones. <laughs> Eat chocolate covered cockroaches? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Would one. you go on Fear Factor? No. Nah. How much? See, I feel like back in the day, the prizes were like. Not, Not that crazy. Um, yeah. What if you, okay, would you go on Fear Factor if you had a high chance of winning like $100,000 if you got through it all? It's, it really just depends on what the, what the things are. And and it, guys, if you don't know what Fear Factor is, it's this show where basically they would take like, what, like five or six contestants or something like that. I feel like it was not it wasn't that many. It was that many. And they would just do these really absurdly gross or terrifying challenges yeah and if you could get through them you keep going further and further and it's always these like yellow flags that's all i remember it's like the yeah that's like the, that was like fear the fear fact but you, you'd have to go through them and they need to be everyone else like you'd have to like make it further than everyone else yeah but and, and there was like stuff like you have to put co- uh, cockroaches all over yourself as you climb through a building or like a cage yeah. or and then there's like another one where it's like a height thing where you're like free 
I don't know, not free falling, yeah. but I remember maybe. one where like, an, like like a pit, like a whole like enclosed thing of snakes. There was a lot of ones where you like eat really gross like bugs yeah, the eating or ones, worms dude. or it's tarantulas. Like, and like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just no. like ah oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. I probably wouldn't make it very far on that. Um, this one <laughs> more likely to go to a Justin Bieber concert. <laughs> that's I, you because you win, one. right? <laughs> yeah. Definitely you then. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely me. Who's more likely to win a million gambling? I feel like I'm a bigger gambler than you. Yeah, you are. So that doesn't mean I'm any more likely to win, though. Um, more likely to bungee jump. I don't think I'd have the balls. You went skydiving. So I Did feel like that's sc- probably I, not in go. I, I don't know if I can do I it. Would, I'm, I'm going to say maybe me on this yes, one. Yes, I think it's but, you. But I feel like I would like skydiving way more. I don't feel like I'd like bungee dump, uh, bungee dumping. <laughs> bungee <laughs> dumping. <laughs> well, that just sounds, that doesn't sound good. You hit the bottom and you just dump everything. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't take a dump at the bottom. Oh my God. <laughs> Who, uh, is more likely good to go to a concert alone? <laughs> That's so sad. Probably me because Emmy doesn't like concerts. I hate to be this I guy, but, um, I've gone to a concert alone with, with, because no one else wanted to go. <laughs> with what concert? Uh, this group called Le Miatre. And they okay. no one really, they're small. They're very small. And, You've probably heard a song and by no, them. And no one wanted to go with you? No. Uh, Jess wasn't here, so she wouldn't have gone. Uh, I don't think Mike was here either. Or maybe, he, I don't know, I'm not really sure if he was here. Yeah. No one wanted to go. And I was like, I've loved these dudes for so long. They're from like Sweden or Norway, like very small group. And they were playing in L.A., Super small show, and I was like, That's I am awesome. not missing it. I'm going. I went alone. It's a definitely a little weird. It's like, yo, like, you know, who are you here with? No you're one. You're just here going. Pretty much. I was just I was just doing my thing, and I was just in there, like, having a good time. But it was a <laughs> great show. So happy I went. Wish I could have went with someone who actually liked them, too. But everyone else there liked them. So, like, that was kind of enough, you know? So, yeah. It's definitely me, though, now. Now you Probably at this me. point, yes. If if M doesn't like, she doesn't like concerts. No, like festivals. No. Oh no! But Katie <laughs> loves festivals. That's Katie. They're like Katie. polar opposites. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna. Katie might go with Porter Rob. More. You want to go with us? By the way, we're going to Porter Robinson. When? Uh, Second Sky, his festival up in Northern California in September. I don't know. It's I didn't think it's of that. it's Maddie and. What, Jai Wolf. Was that the thing that Noah's wanting thinking about? It's like th- that one's just Porter. Uh, it's his his tour, but this is like his festival, which is him and like three other guys. For it's just one day. Dang. Yeah, you, I don't know. Yeah, if you want to come, Katie said she's down because she she likes Katie kind of loves she concerts. loves it. Yeah. She loves the shit we love. Katie's so. Emmy's sister. For everybody who doesn't know. All right, want to do one more? Yeah. Most likely to move to another country. Ooh. To move to another country. Where would you move if you're going to move to another country? I feel like we answered this already one time. I think we did. I think it was like, I definitely wanted to visit like Japan is like my top place to visit out of the country. Where would you move? Move to though? That's so hard to know, like without really being there enough to know. Dude, I saw like, I remember seeing this like really cute couple on TikTok where this uh this girl <laughs> what's wrong with tiktok <laughs> nothing <I> just, <laughs> just the way you line that up i saw this really cute couple on tiktok it was so cute though like she like basically she got engaged i think with this guy who's from japan and she ended up moving to japan to live with him okay and like the entire her entire tiktok is like this is my day in japan today and it's just all these different like things that she does uh, with her husband, I don't know if they're engaged or married or what, but it's just like it's like the most pure. It's genuinely like the most pure couple I've ever seen in my life. Like it's just we went we went to the store today in Japan and I saw this and I thought it was really cute. And then I brought this home and then we went bike riding over here in this really pretty area. Then we watched the sunset over here and it's just like it's just these really cute moments of Japan. And I'm just like that is so amazing. Maybe I want to live there. I don't know. Okay. I don't think I could ever live there, but I. I can't, I can't think of any other spot unless not, nah, it just, I can't, it's gotta be us for me, but I, 
maybe if I on the off chance I like want to be done with everything I in the U.S. I'm done. I'm done. I just want to go for a completely different culture. Probably Japan. Okay. I'm gonna say I, I'll, I'll just I, say Japan. I can't even pick a spot. I don't think it'd be maybe Italy, maybe Croatia, maybe Australia, maybe New Zealand. <laughs> Probably one of those, but I don't. I don't see myself ever moving to another country. Dude, I always feel like Australia is safe. From like, aside from the nine of ten most poisonous snakes in the world, yeah. and like multiple severely poisonous bugs and spiders, yeah, probably it's pretty safe. But it's like, it's like I just feel like Australia is like that one place where it's just, just, there's just no war, no battles. Maybe I'm wrong. Australia is good. It's great. It's it good. just seems like it's, it's down it's under, right? It's fun. I mean, I, I liked it there when I went. Uh, like, if the whole world went to it's, crap, it's, it's would like, Australia be okay? I feel like yeah, it's like Australia is like chilling. the th- like a, the third probably. It's like U.S., Canada, U.K., and Australia are like the four that are all English speaking that are yeah pretty similar in a lot of ways. I would say yeah. just as far as like the people and like what they have there and the technology and the Dude, industry. I've, I've always loved the Australian accents too. Oh yeah, they're great. Even I don't I don't even care on on a guy a girl it doesn't matter. <laughs> a I, couple dude, of guys it, and a couple of gas. Dude, <laughs> listen, I. I, I, again, I, I, when you hear Australian accents from anybody, you're just like, dude, like, how, how do you sound that beautiful? <laughs> you beautiful. How do you being. genuinely sound that amazing? I love it. Like, how is it actually possible? Like, why did I have to grow up with the, hey, y'all, <laughs> and this guy <laughs> grows up and he has a beautiful, gorgeous no. Southern, or not Southern. Australian accent. It's just, oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Australian accent. If you're Australian and you're watching this podcast, just know you're lucky. We love the Aussies. We love your accent. We love the Aussies. All right. Well, (laughs) I mean, I guess that's the episode. It was, I mean, yeah. Next week, I'm going to try to get a guest on so we can have... You know, a little, a little something to talk about with someone else. A little something, something. A little something, something. A little something, something. Is it possible, though, to get a guest? Uh, in this day uh, and age, in 2021? You, know, you would, you, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try. If not, we'll be right back here with more relevant topics. That is right. When And also when more relevant things happen. There hasn't been much happening in the, I, in the media I feel verse, like it's been too. pretty, you know. It's just, old, it's just old, crypto. It's just people freaking out about crypto. And I didn't really want to talk about that. Yeah, I mean, like, I talk uh, about that every day now, so I'm really cool to talk about secret channel. anything else here. I mean, it's really not hard to figure out, you know? It's about crypto and... Matt Money. That was already taken. It would, <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it was going to be. Money, Matt. That's what it was going to be, pretty much, <laughs> more or less, if, and this other kid didn't freaking take it from me. His name's Make Money Matt. No. Yeah, dude. He's like this. He's like this, like seventeen-year-old with like M- this hair. M- M- he actually doesn't look that different from me when I was seventeen. Make so money, man. I was like, dang, bro, that's that's awkward. I'm gonna get. Can I guess another one? Yeah, sure. Monetary story. <laughs> Monetary story. Money story. No, money story. Money for all. Money for all. Okay, I could have kept money for you, but I didn't. I mm. wanted. I wanted it to be more personal. Matt crypto. <laughs> Matt 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 crypto king. Crypto king. <laughs> I got thirty subs, and I'm the crypto king. Money king. I want someone to go and look up every <laughs> single thing he says and see what comes up because I'm very curious. I re- I feel like I feel like the fact that your name is Matt and that rhymes like that go or it has MM. What is the word uh, alliteration with money? MM money Matt money Matt money maketh Matt. matters. That's, that's what I wanted. Maketh man. Okay. Have you seen that? No. Matters maketh man. Do you know what that's from? No. Have you ever seen Kingsman? No. I'm gonna go watch. Wait, it's one. not matters. Sorry. 
manners make <laughs> okay that makes more sense i was like manners. matters maketh man what the <laughs> fuck is he like adams build it's been a long day it's like 11 p.m okay it is it is 11 it's it is in go. fact 11 15 p.m kingsman's so. a great movie though seriously everybody watch it. oh it's a movie i thought it was a show no it, no it's a movie okay. you'd love it you'd love how it's filmed better than lost no all right well. but, but it's it's a great film I, is, I it a top, is it a top 10 film Maybe not top ten film, but it's like it's it's one of the best like actiony like spy movies ever. Okay, like Kingsman. It's, it's so like it's really just like oh my god, how did they film that? There's one scene in that it's like a it's like a one shot that lasts for a very long time, mm. and, and it's unreal. It's amazing. Like it's it's one of the best scenes I've seen in a movie. Like there's definitely it may not be the best movie of all time, but there's definitely a scene in it. That is one of the best scenes of all time of okay. any movie. Okay. In my opinion. Okay. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay. The church scene. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Anyways. Okay. I'm watching Lost. We're watching Survivor. We'll see you next week. Time for us to make thumbnails. This is what we do, by by the way, at the end of every podcast. We just go. <laughs> <laughs>